Hi guys, it's Johnson from johnsonyup.com. So I'm going to teach you how to ins install Ubuntu 10.04 onto VirtualBox made by Oracle, which bought Sun. Yep. So you first click New, then you click Next, then you give it a title. Like you can do ten zero four, yeah. So you could pick the sixty four bit version if you're using Windows the sixty four bit or Ubuntu if you're using the regular version of Windows with the thirty two bit like XP and seven. Do, do, do. Then click next, 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 and next, and you click finish, and you click finish again, and then you right click the new image and click settings, so we go to storage. And you make sure the CD is. Oh, yeah, you mount the CD. So put add. You go to your CD drive, ISO location for the Ubuntu ISO. And then you click. Yeah, select. You can also use the CD drive, like drive F. So you click OK. So now you click Start. And it's going to start up. So I'm going to pause the video for a few seconds. Okay, now you pick your language and then you click install Ubuntu 10.04. So you wait. You pick your time zone and if it's correct, you click forward. And the default uh, should be fine. You could test it. Yep, it works. And forward. So you could just click forward. Yeah. And you type in your name. And I'm going to give it a simple password. So you click next. And you click install. So I'm going to pause the video. Yeah. So now you need to restart your computer. So yeah. I'm gonna pause the video for a few seconds. So if you have a problem restarting, you could go to machine and go press reset. And yeah. So now I'm logged in. You type in your password you made. So you wait. And you will hear a sound. The Ubuntu sound. <laughs> 
So yeah, the first thing you should do is update your its install of Ubuntu by going to System Administration and Update Manager. So go take a while, and then you go install updates. Then go ask for your password. And click OK. So I'm going to take uh, one hour or more depending on your bandwidth. Yeah. So if you don't like the appearance of Ubuntu, you could change it very easily in System Preferences Appearance. So all you do is click on something you like and you change the background if you don't like purple yeah. to hmm. let's make it this yeah. and you got to change the fonts yeah. close so I'm going to pause it So the computer telling me to restart after reboot, I mean update, so I'm going to restart now and pause the video, yeah. So now Ubuntu has been updated in VirtualBox, I recommend installing Guest editions by going to devices, install guest editions, and it should show it on your desktop. Then you run it in terminal, the auto run.sh. So you run it in terminal. So you type in password. So you wait for a few seconds, so I'm going to pause the video again. So now the guest editions are installed, you press the enter key. So you need to restart your computer, yeah. So yeah, restart. So I'm going to pause it again. So now that uh, guest editions have been installed, you get more a higher resolution screen instead of 800 by 600. So if you want to install Flash or Java, you for Firefox, you go to Applications, Ubuntu Software Center, and you type it in Flash. So you look for Adobe Flash Player and you click install. So I'm going to ask for password. Authenticate. So I'm going to pause it for a few minutes. So now Flash is installed so you can watch YouTube videos.